Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome back to my channel everyone. For today's dish, we are going to cook this tilapia. Mm. For some people, they always... You know, it's so funny because sometimes when I uh, cook something, Oh, Miss Yap, that's not pompano. No, no, this is tilapia guys. Over here, there is a red tilapia. It's not just the brown tilapia or the black colored tilapia. Let me show you. So this is the original package and see, uh, we got this one from Costco and says whole tilapia, product of Columbia. So yes, this is tilapia, okay? So I'm going to make pinangat on this one. Oh, I love pinangat. So, um, and the ingredients for our pinangat to, for today, we're going to get it from the garden. So let's try and pick some ingredients fresh from the garden okay friends let's go get some ingredients in the garden bell okay let's go to the garden bell come on we have a lot of toys here Okay, friends, so we need some tomatoes and um, chili or chili. See, I have some ripe tomatoes. Tomatoes is almost finished this year now, so I'm going to grab some of these ones here. There's a lot of ripe ones. I'm going to pick the little ones later on. The bottom here. Nice one. Guys, look. Very soon I'm gonna have some upo. This is my upo plant. And there's, I have one more over there. See? So let me grab these tomatoes here. I have a lot of small ones left so I'm gonna pick that one later friends this is my chili area I have two of them here so I'm just going to pick this one here and this one here so we have uh, we have two chili fresh ones hey very nice, huh? Okay. Friends, I'm going to pick some onions as well. Because these onions are are not that great now. So, I'm just going to pick that. And I think I have some on the... I think I have one left here. So, I'm just going to pick this one before it will die. Let's see. So, most of our ingredients for today is fresh from the garden. So friends, our fish, they are already clean and I got all the ingredients today. And then these are my ingredients for my pinangat for today. Um, I want my pinangat to be sour. So I have, I'm going to use the Mamacita Sinigang sa Sampaloc mix. Of course, we have some garlic, ginger, and I'm using two red onions. I also have lemongrass here and this is what we got from the garden I have some scallions two banana peppers and this is our fresh tomatoes this is what we're going to use for our pinangat and guys when we eat fish most of us Filipinos we always love to have vegetables on the side so I'm going to make a salad using this wild cucumber that we got from the garden. And also my sister, she bought some asparagus. So I'm going to cook this one as well. So guys, let's start our cooking 101. Okay friends, now let's start cooking our pinangat. So I'm just going to layer some ingredients at the bottom of the wok. Like that so we have our red onions and then couple of garlic 
and then tomatoes at the bottom. Let's add a little bit more garlic. Okay, and then our ginger. With this dish, guys, with pinangat, you have to always add extra ginger, extra onions, extra garlic, and extra tomatoes because that can also uh, remove the smell and the taste of the fish. So your dish is not really like, you know, fishy. And then we're going to layer our fish here. Beautiful fish. Big ones, hey? And one last one, the head part. Okay. We're also going to add our lemongrass. For this dish, I decided to use two lemongrass. So I'm going to put the lemongrass at the bottom. And guys, make sure that when you guys are using lemongrass, always make sure that it's pounded like that because that's the only way you can extract the beautiful flavor of the lemongrass. And... With this one, we're going to add our banana peppers. This is the one that we got from the garden. So there's only two of them. Two is good enough. And now we're going to put the rest of our ingredients on top of the fish. The rest of the garlic. I used one head of garlic for this dish, guys, and the rest of our onions. And ginger. We're also going to add our Mamacita seasoning mix. Okay, let's add our mamacita mix. I like my pinangat kind of like a little bit sour. So, I'm going to use half of the amount of the mamacita mix on this one here. And then, I'm going to add one cup of water. And then, that's it guys. Let me show you the next step. Okay, friends, I already placed our wok in the stove. So, high heat. So, we're going to cook this one around 45 minutes to 1 hour until our fish gets cooked. But, let me show you three more ingredients for this pinangat. So, now, let's cover them up. There and we wait okay friends after almost an hour let's check our fish oh look at that you guys okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our scallions all right and then we're also going to add probably three tablespoons of the fish sauce if you guys don't like fish sauce then just uh, add some uh, regular salt and I'm going to add a little bit of the um, Belulova cooking oil just half a teaspoon just like that and it enhances the smell of your pinangat that's all folks and I will see, I will show you guys the finished product. Okay, friends, this is our finished product. This is our pinangat. There you go. 
Maasim na pinangat, guys. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys are not subscribed on my channel yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day, everyone, wherever you are in the world. And may the good Lord bless us all. Thank you guys again for watching and see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.